Hi, I'm Zach. I'm on vacation, a poolside. What better way to enjoy the great outdoors and all of the beauty than to pull out my Nintendo Switch and get into some gaming. Let's go ahead and open up this travel case and see what I take for gaming on the go. Starting up, the Switch case. This is going to be the Skull & Co. travel case. Let's open that up. And in here, we have some of our Switch games and a OLED Switch. Now this case is originally designed for the original Nintendo Switch. And so you're going to see a couple of concessions I've made to fit the newer OLED model with the grip case. And the grip case I have is the Skull & Co. grip case. I like this one because it's covering it all. It's also see-through. So I can see some of the print there that's on the back of my OLED switch. And we've got these thinner pads here because with the additional handles here, once these are applied to the switch and these just slide off on the grip switch, let's take that off. Slide that on and get the much more comfortable gripping I want. But because this case was for the original one, it's not gonna fit. It's gonna be a little too snug, a little too pushy. Maybe you could force that in, but I find it easier just to slip those off and put them in these little grooves that are already in here. And with these smaller pads, it fits just fine. So this travel case, I really like it protects it. You wanna pull it out, you just have to peel it kind of out of the case. That's so elegant. And so removing that, the one issue you have is these little button extenders here come out. So it could be fairly easy to lose this from this case, taking it in and out. But when I'm traveling, I'm not normally removing my switch from the grip case. So let's put the switch over to the side. And what we have underneath is, and this may look familiar, the 8-bit dough microcontroller. It's great for travel for the kids or you know, for multiplayer games in which instead of using a Joy-Con, this is a little bit more comfortable than that. I also have the Skull & Co. dock. Now this is just part of the actual dock and can slide out of the bigger unit, which makes it great for traveling. But I only feel comfortable using a third-party dock because I carry with me a first-party power supply. So this is an official Nintendo power supply. It came with the Switch, and I will use that with this. So once I have these two, I've not had a problem using a third-party dock. The other thing I have here is some AirPods. And that's great because now that we have Bluetooth on the Switch, these are fantastic to travel with. So that's what I carry in my Nintendo Switch carrying case. It's not a lot, it doesn't need to be a lot. This is just for on-the-go gaming. Now for the TomTok hard case for the Pro controller. Got a great locking mechanism here. Gonna keep your controller nice and safe. Open that up. But there we have our Pro Controller, and you can see it fits very snugly into there, locks up, thumbsticks are protected, those aren't going anywhere, and we have a hole for charging, which is really great, so we don't have to remove this controller from the case to recharge it. And you're not going to get accidental button presses while it's in your bag, that's the TomTok Pro controller case and they make this for xbox playstation and of course the switch here so the other thing i have here is for retro gaming and that would be my rg35xx from ambernick and it's great i play all the little retro games on here arcade games it's a great pick up and play also with the power button you're able to just shut down and save where you're at in your game so that you pull this out of your pocket hit the power button again, and it's gonna bring you right back to the game that you were playing at the location and save that you were playing. It's got a great screen on it. It's nice and big, a lot bigger than my Bio Mini, which is very portable, but just not as playable as this RG35XX. I love the construction quality of this. This material, especially in this gray, feels really high quality compared to other handhelds I've had. I also like to keep this little pad. This is what came in the packaging with this. And I would highly suggest keeping this because it's great to just lay on top 
while you put it in a case just for a little bit of extra protection and padding while you're traveling. And this is just an Amazon Basics case and it fits really well. So that's my gaming traveling kit. And down in the comments, I'd like to hear from you what you take for gaming on the go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next Back of the Box.